Tenacious now goes in, drawn three. I see Algy goes in. Last to load will be top notch, I feel. Drawn in number two. I see Windrose looking very calm in the middle of the field at fives. They're all in. They come under starter's orders and they're off. A little bit of bumping going on down there, but very well away. In the middle of the field, it is Algy. Windrose up there too, but very well spaced. As they come down the ground into the dip, it is in the middle of the field. Windrose, the favorite, but also making a move, is Top Notch. Top Notch finds their way through. Algy is there. So too is Impala. It's absolutely anybody's race. Kunikova tucked in very well, but in the front of the field, it is the two horses from the Matua stable, Top Notch and Impala. On the far side, going wide now, is Windrose, finding a way around. Trying to find a way through the middle of the field is Algy. Algy now making the move. But it is Windrose, the favourite, coming down the middle of the course with Algy hot on their shoulder. The initial leaders of Impala and Top Notch fading a little bit now. But they come down. It is Windrose taking them along. Windrow's taking along Algy in there too, and it's Algy now moving out in front. Algy, as they come down past the 200 meter marker, it is going to be a very easy win for Algy, who timed it very well to come down. 100 meters less for the race, and it's Algy by almost a distance from Peligroso and Tenacious. Algy the winner. And we've just had our fourth race of the day, the Karyanduse Handicap, won there in that very, very emphatic fashion by Algi, ridden by James Mohende and trained by Ollie Gray. And I'm joined here by both jockey and trainer, and first, jockey Mohende. Mohende, the break seemed to favor you, and once at the junction, you got momentum. Th there was no way they were going to catch you. Yeah, he seemed to be so good in his home st stretch. And we have tried him further, but in long distance, he seemed not to be happy. And the trainer decided to take him back on straight. And he proved how good he is in straight. And uh, the he broke well and the last 300 meters. I rode him, I was expecting some challenges, but 200 meters I realized I'm on, uh, alone. <laughs> well, congratulations for a good win. And trainer of Algi, Oli Gray. Oli, when he says 200 meters home, he realized he was on his own. I mean, you were a bit iffy, but what does that tell you about Algi and sprinting? No, he, he's, I've always loved the horse. He's a, he's a lovely horse to have in the stable. Uh, I thought he would stay because um, he won first time out over 1,200. We tried him a few times around the bend. He didn't uh, he, he didn't look as if he was a classic horse, so we decided to go back up the straight, and I think we'll we'll carry on up the straight for the moment anyway. But he's a, he's a lovely horse, and uh, he was looking great today, and I was very confident. Uh, I just was a bit worried about Winrose, but, you know, he, he won very, very nicely, so... He'll run again in two weeks' time. The owner's coming out, so I think we'll definitely go for a, a sprint instead of the guineas. Well, are we now saying that Algi is definitely a sprinter? At the moment, yes, definitely. Uh, I don't think he can beat some of the top ones around the bend. They've beaten him easily, so, you know, you, you run where you're best, best in. He's won twice up the straight. Why, why go any further at the moment? Well, congratulations for a good win. Wish you all the best. The full results of our fourth race, the Karyandusi Handicap, the winner 
host number three, Algi. Second, host number eight, Peligroso. Third, host number seven, Tenacious. Fourth, host number four, Top Notch. And fifth, host number two, Windrose.